Skadoosh, skadoosh. Welcome back, my ninjas. Joey Moss with Bad Boy Gaming. Adam Thorman. We're going to be busting open two boxes for a long time patron. What's he going to get? Is he going to get a dumpster fire? One way to find out, pal. We're going to just get to crack it, Captain. Hope you guys are having a fantastic. Was it Wednesday? Does anyone know? Does anyone even pay? Does anyone even go to work anymore? Does that, 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 do we? Is this entire world just madness at this point? Do we even keep track of anything anymore? Are there schedules? Do people do that? Are there parties? Are, are you going to a party? Are you allowed to go to a party? I don't even know. The world's gone mad. That's all I know. Things are scary. But right now, I'm going to take you under my wing, pal. Woo! To theory. Let's go, baby. Oh, my goodness. This is a lot of booster packs. Adam Thorman, good luck, my ninja. You got a lot of action. Look at all this. Look at all this. This is just madness. This is just in freaking sanity. We're just gonna we're gonna do this for a nice little thumbnail. What do you think of that? Holy smothering tithe. We're just gonna we're just gonna litter it everywhere. Hooray, haru, hurrah. This is insanity, my friends. Whoa. An endless amount of booster packs. Oh yes, oh yes. Can we cover the entire thing? Oh, we're having fun, huh? We're having fun. We're having fun. Okay, whoa. That's a beautiful sight right there, my friends. Beautiful sight. Get this garbage out of here. Let's move it all up. Okay, no, it's not garbage. These are beautiful treasures. All right, okay. That may have taken a little while. We got this under control. We got this under control. Pushing everything back, baby. Pushing everything back. I should have paused it right there. There's a pause feature. Okay, we're trying. We're trying. Boom. We're going to zip through this because there's a lot to do. A lot to do. A lot going on. Let's go, baby. Woo! Okay. Pack one. Box three. What? No. Stop. What? Okay, if Joey, Joey, if you keep opening packs like that, we're going to be here for like 10 years, my friend. Yeah, you're not kidding. All right, let's get into the goodness. We're looking for, oh, that looks really faded, though. What's going on with that? It's not even the camera. By the way, I'm getting a new, account, a new camera. Very expensive. It's going to be magnificent. Fabled Passage, starting things out with a miscast. Not bad. Okay. Uh, I'm not even going to go through the comments because there's just so much to open here. We're just going to tear on through it, baby. Where's, okay, maybe not. Maybe not tear through, but you know. All right, hype's real. Let's go. Bring back some of that old goody goodies. Okay. Ooh, the old Brash Taunter. He's fun to play with. Have you played with him yet? I mean, it's a giggity goo kind of style. You know what I'm saying? Giggity goo kind of style. All right. Let's see if we can hit like a nasty extended art. That's almost like, uh, almost like a masterpiece, you know? Like Kaladesh times, when you open up something crazy, that's not crazy. But we're getting there. Tefiri's Ageless Insight for all the gloriness. All right. And the uncommons. Whoopity doos. All right. I can't believe collector boxes. They are just out of control. It's almost like nothing else matters. You know? Like, that's how they're making it out to, to be. But you know what the truth is? The truth is, this is what matters. Enjoying opening up a booster box and just having a real hoot with it, you know? Having a good time. A lot of people make the argument, just buy singles. Ah, like when people ask, what booster box should I get? This or that? And uh, I see a comment in a thread. Just buy singles. I'm like, bro, how boring of a life must you live? Your wife is probably filled with sadness because she goes to sleep at night knowing the night is going to be boring as well because you don't have any sense of adventure. You got to live a little. You got to shake and bake. You know what I'm saying? Like right here. Oh, I had a feeling it was going to be something crazy. Oh, double now. In Brawl, this is nutty. Everyone's playing it. I went to Brawl, and I'm just like, wow, that is like a being played by everybody. It's weird, but it really is. Every single person's playing that deck. Now, Rada's good, though. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm like, wow, okay. I was just trying to run this god over here, you know. Uh, but I guess I'll just play that because everyone else is doing it, you know. I want to be one of the cool kids. Idol of Endurance and some other stuff to miscast. All right. Oh, man. Thorman, baby. Let's bring some heat, baby. Let's bring some heat. How about a mythic, right, Meow? You want a mythic? You guys want to see a mythic? Oh, that's not a mythic. Oh, I got excited for a second. Ooh, but that's a scavenging ooze. Not bad. Alternate. We'll take it. Bada bing. All right. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, we'll pull all the alternates up there. Only uh, the alternate, not showcase either. We're just going to put um, the extended arts. The ex oh, goodness gracious. That pack was nutty to me. Goodness gracious. Ooh, the old Stitcher. Anyone playing this yet? I have yet to. I probably should. Where are the Mythics? Oh, my goodness gracious. This is just, uh, this is not looking good. Garrick's Uprising looks pretty cool. I will give a prop to Garuk. If we could, 
They changed how packs are open now. Why they put this stupid little slice on the top? Mythic. What? Ultimate bulk. Some cabbage up in there. Um, they put some, uh, they put these little stupid things. Look at this. This does not help open the pet. Watch. This does not help at all. That was really quick, actually. All right. Okay. Foot and mouth. Oh, my gosh. Where is a mythic? Where is the value? Where is anything? Right now, I guess our friend's going to Pound Town. <laughs> He's riding in the F truck and hitting every freaking bump. Thorman, what's going on with you, man? You feeling okay? A little under the weather? Got a titanic growth in your pants? Can't get rid of? How about a chromatic Ori, baby? Woo! Not bad. A little bit of value. Oh, we'll take it. That was the weakest bell ring I've ever heard. All right, that, the adrenaline's pumping. We're going to get to pumping and dumping. Right meow, right meow, right meow. Let's keep a mythic pile. We never do a mythic pile. We're just feeling crazy. Out of control today. They need a better way to open these packs. I don't know what's going on. Mythic. Vito, almost as good as a mythic because the value, baby. Value. We're riding on the value train into Hype World. Coming through. That's right. Since 2020. Oh, man, what a crazy year. Yeah, that's right. We just started the Hype Train right now. Uh, double Masters. What are you going to do? Buy all the boxes you can? You probably should. Temple of Mystery. It's going to be a crazy, majestic product. It really is going to. That's all i got to say about that. All right. One extended art. One rare worth a darn. And then we have our Ori over here, which I hate even saying that. we got to revitalize. I know something juicy. Oh, that's, that's legit. I think down the road this card's going to be a little better. But right now... I mean, it's just not doing anything in standard. Uh, nothing right now. Absolutely nothing, you know. Evolving Wilds is the way to go. You want to run a good deck? Run a place that of Evolving Wilds, guys. Call it a day. You'll be okay. All right, moving along, moving along. Wow, a lot of freaking packs. I don't think I've ever opened this many packs in a long time. It's been a while. Ill. Ugh. Now, remember, the packs are a little shuffled together, so you never know what you're going to get your hands on here. Nothing there. Okay. Let's move this stack of... Uh, of illness right over there. There we go. Stack of illness. Okay, let's get that. Oh, I think we had an extender. Ooh, we got the, the cool little land. Stewart. Whoa! That is weird, huh? Because the packs are all shuffled. That could have came out of the same box. Nobody knows. All right, moving along, moving along, big moving along, moving along. We got the haze. Ooh, haze. The haze. We're going to put that right there. There we go. Let's make a little stack of all our mythics right there. Bada bing. Patrician. Looking pretty cool. Looking pretty cool indeed. All right. Whoa. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't believe it's not butter. All right. We need some excitement, baby. How about a caravaner? Nope. Not going to do it. You know what we need to hit? What everyone wants to hit. What's that? What's that? A MILF. All right. No. Uh, we need to hit uh, ourselves a good old Ugin. That's right. The Legend of Ugin returns. Sanctum of All. Well, that's not an Ugin, but, you know, it's something. All right. We got the revi uh, Rewind and a Stitcher again. Okay. Not too hot sauce, but we're getting there. I wonder if I can do this in 20 minutes. That would be like a record. I know. Whoa, look at all these duplicates. What's going on? Nobody knows. But it gets the people going. Woo! Okay, 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 okay. There you go. And some of that. Yeah, you're going to have fun checking all these comments, my friend. Because I'm not going to look through all the comments for the showcase arts right now. Got the construct. Got the construct. Got some of this. Okay, got the gad rack. Nothing crazy. Nothing cagey. Nothing crazy. Just a little gad rack action. A little gad rack action for that arse. All right, come on. Baby. Let's get that excitement going. We need. We, come on. We need something big. Something big. You know what I'm saying, guys? I know the girls do. All right, we got the hold. Oh, okay. That was about it. This this pack. This, these these packs really got a hold on me. That's all I'm saying. Here we go. Ooh, maze mind home. Hmm. Sees play though, but you know nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Which is Cauldron. That's a fun little card for the Sacrifice build. Works great for triggers when a creature dies. You know what I'm saying? What up, Tasa? Shout out, my girl. Speaker of the Heavens foil. Thought this was worth something, but it's really not. Cadrack. Wow! It's really weird when you have this many packs to open. I am just throwing it out there. Another foil. Okay. And we got the old Crypt. The old crypt doo doodah Weird. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Like, you see, like, this is the same few cards pack after pack. I'm like, why? Why is this happening? Okay, we have Necromentia. Not bad. The chick's going through some things. Could be a guy. Nobody knows, but it's probably an elf. All right. Whoa, hyper. We are. Let's, let's go. Let's go, baby. You know it's like the middle of the day right now? I'm cracking this at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Ooh, we got a mauler. And Ruined Halo. The card that's nothing right now, but will be something. Next Standard. Or the standard after. Or maybe never. Or maybe just in the right... No. It's a, it's only a sideboard card. 
let's let's get that under control right now okay that's a sideboard card if it said you like every permanent has protection from this card that'd be something you know that you control but it doesn't say that guys it doesn't say that you got to see the truth you know in between the lines unbelievable foils are everywhere okay whoop, 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 whoop. there we go all right a little wacky packy cracky today i know i know i put on my big boy slippers for this one it's crazy oh yeah Woo! there you go my ninja how at your boy there it is a little bell ringer humdinger Safiri master of time nice like 30 dollar hit right there Bada bing. So we don't know what box had what in it, but we are opening stuff, and that's cool, huh? This goes up here, and all these commons go that way. Wow, 10 minutes in. 10 minutes in. Uh, say in the comment, if you're still watching this, say, what would you do for a Klondike bar? And then let me know what you would do for a Klondike bar. You know? Anything? It's, it's anything. I mean, that's fun. Klondike bars. Take me back. I remember my uncle, great uncle Joe. I used to go to his house. Man, he, he passed at 89 years old. He was an awesome guy. Served in World War II. Uh, he was a tank mechanic, pretty nasty stuff, and uh, yeah, uh, but he passed, but I would always go to his house, tutelage, and I would uh, play pool at his house, you know, he always messed with me and stuff, but one thing he always had at his house was Klondike bars. Everything else the guy had was cabbage, but he also could make some mean chili, but when I was younger, I wasn't really into chili, you know, it's kind of silly I wasn't into chili, isn't that weird, Billy? Okay, I know, things are fun. Okay, rewind, let's go back, that was back in time. Whoa, we're going to have to organize these uh, uncommons here in a little bit. Off to the side you go, my stack. Ba okay, and more commons. Bada bang. So, yeah. Anyway, Uncle Joe, rest in peace, my ninja. Rest in peace. All right, got one of these. Ooh, a striker and discontinuity. Bada bing. Another mythic right there. We're pulling mythics, baby. Can we get, if we get 12 mythics, this will be a fantastic opening. That's all I got to say about that. It'll be a fantastic opening. They will be. The village people. The village rights? Whatever. I bet the village people think they have village rights, but they don't even know. They don't even know. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, Bassery Cat. I see this card being worth a little bit more uh, down the road, too. Uh, just underperformer right now on the set because of the uh, the meta. But nonetheless, we pulled a card, and that's fun, huh? Put that up here. Let's make a new pile. I think we're more than halfway through. I don't even know. We're really trying to get there, though. Pegasus, one of these, one of those. Let's actually put this here. There we go. Esteemed things. Bink, bink. Okay. Nothing crazy. So we're just kind of moseying, moseying on around. All right. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here comes the big one. Ooh, Baron. Not a bad little hit there. We're going to take it. There you go. Thorman, for you, Bell. For you, my friend. Bam. Come on, baby. So Tefiri, uh started out with like 40 bucks, and then everyone realized how many prints it got, and it just like went down the freaking tubes. And dog life decks. I should make a dog deck. I know I made some kind of dog cat kind of synergy deck going on, but it really was just some jank I slapped together, not meant for competitive play. But there is some cat stuff out there that could get the job done. Temple of Silence. There you go. I'm going to silence my mouth from talking, huh? All right, there you go. Some more stuff. We're going to move the mythic pile because we're living dangerously. Mythic pile's going up here. Boop. There we go. Now we have things going on. Okay. Don't ask why I did that. I just feel it'll be easier. It'll be easier, baby. Ooh, Battery Cat. Haven't seen that yet. That's fun. And Sir Strike. Kalerak Unleashed. Go check out my arena. MTG Arena decks. Uh, yeah, we definitely play with that Garrick card. And he sees uh, he sees people uh, losing a lot when I play that deck. Yes, it's good times. It honestly is a really good time. Um, yeah, you can. You, I read it on Reddit that it was a good time to do that. We got the old Temple of Silence. Nothing fantastic there. Followed by some of this and some of that. All right. I mean, we have multiple common piles because commons are like a dime a dozen. So, you know, we just have to have a lot of piles. Makes sense? All right, cool. All right, I know something crazy is about to happen. We're going to pull an Oogster, man. And probably another Tefiri, honestly. I wouldn't put it past it. Maybe a Foil Ugin? A foil Extended Tefiri? Nobody knows, but we're going to get there. Elder Gargareth. There's another Mythic. It's fun to see so many Mythics just cracked open. And we're getting them left and right. Um, we are at a good amount of Mythics right now. If I had to guess, I think we're at six, maybe seven. Maybe seven mythics. Thorman, not bad. Solemn septic tank. There you go. Got the old septic tank. Boom, boom, boom. All right, all right. Still trucking. Uh, I'm excited for Double Masters. I already purchased two of the VIP things. I think I'm going to get a four-pack, though, of the Double Masters. Um, you know, thingamabobber, whatever you call it. All right, yeah. Uh, it's going to be pretty sweet. So we're going to have a lot of fun opening that. And then I'm also going to get some Double Masters regular booster boxes, 
Just everything under the sun that's fun, you know? We're going to get all the big stuff. Lionel Revisionary, pretty cool, Lonnie. Uh, Heroic Intervention, that's always a card worth talking about. That's always a card worth talking about. All right, still trucking. Let's do that big pool. We need an Oogster. We got the Tefiri. All I need is an Oogan to call it a day. I mean, and then there's no... Whoop, sorry. I know I pulled it off camera, but I had to. Bam! Shart, Hondra, Fire. Another Mythic. One of the piles slid. What are you going to do? Anyone get any misprints out of this? Have you? And let's talk about something else now that we're on the topic of misprints. Thanks for bringing that up, by the way, Johnny out there. So, right now going around in uh, Jumpstart, I'm seeing on these these Reddit for, you know, uh, forums and whatnot, uh, groups, that, yeah, there's these mythic lands, and they're worth a darn, you know? Or not mythic lands. There's these lands um, that are misprinted. You know, they got, like, double mana symbols on them. So, like, where the, the land symbol is in the middle, uh, there's, like, another symbol overlaying on top of that one. <sighs> Come on, wizards. That looked intentional, you know? <laughs> Sometimes you got to really wonder what they do. Um, but I went on that group, and... Um, I made the argument, this seems more like an intentional misprint, you know, because I don't think it's happened often in Magic where that kind of misprint has occurred. And think about it. How would that even happen? How would that even happen? Like, in the middle of it, they're just switching. Like, it's the last run of those lands or something. And then all... I know they put them in sheets, but... There's just... It doesn't make any logical sense how that could happen. Unless it was intentional, you know? Shacklegeist, got the old foilage, there you go. And the Pilferer. Interesting little pack right there. Not too bad, Jack. So, yeah, I just, I'm like, come on, this was intentional. These are probably a lot more common than we expect. And I do have two more Jumpstart boxes that I'll be opening up pretty soon. Uh, waiting on them to arrive, though. Oh, Scavenging Ooze Extender. That's not bad. There you go, man. Some more value for you. And the Temple of Milady. It's funny how we only pulled uh, <laughs> Scavenging Ooze, though. Cultivate. Really cool card there. Wow. We have opened a lot of cards. That goes over here, Joey. Thanks, Bob. Bob, my biggest fan out there. Does anyone even name their kids Bob anymore? I mean, what is up with that? Bam! Grim Tutor! There you go. Not bad, my friend. <laughs> Got a little bell action there. Everyone's ears are ringing. Everyone's ears are bleeding. Okay. Rewind this, that, and the other. We are doing good. I think we're going to be able to do this before uh, to the 25-minute mark. I just bent that card to crap. Sorry about that scorching fire. Bink. Ooh, Thornwood Falls. And Demonic Embrace. Oh, we had another Demonic Tutor there for a second. But I was sadly mistaken. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, um, I don't know. Some of these misprints, and also, okay, here's my biggest argument. And I'm not, I'm not dogging misprints. I think misprints are cool. The legit ones are really, really cool. Problem is, a lot of people try faking at misprints, you know. And I think that's uh, that's a terrible thing to do. And I'm sure it's been done a hundred billion times over. You know, people faking misprints and they go out there and they're like, people look at them like they're legit. But there's also real misprints that are worth a hefty freaking bunch of money. My problem is with one misprint in particular, and that is the crimp cards. I do not trust crimp card misprints. Simple reason. If you have access to a crimp machine or a press of that sort, you can easily duplicate that misprint. And I'm sure you could even get a custom little, you know, uh, stamper machine, you know, you can buy one probably, or have a custom made, maybe a thousand bucks, but people pay an arm and a leg for some of these, some of these misprints that are crimped, crimped means on the bottom here or the top, there's going to be marks from where the pack is sealed, Boosh, okay, so it punches up like a bunch of teeth marks, it doesn't seem that crazy for someone to be able to make a fake misprint of that, like, it, it seems like it would be really easy to do if you have access to that machine, so the fact that people go out of their way and pay like 100 bucks, 200 bucks for some of these crimped cards blows my mind. Nice little passage there. Because, look, I just wouldn't trust any crimped card. I don't think that should be worth anything because of uh, the possibility it's fake. The only way I can believe a, a misprint at this point in age, because a lot of people are trying to lie and cheat their way, you know, into money, um, is if I open it. If I open the darn thing, which I have opened a misprint before, a few misprints, um, some more, you know, notable than other ones, with some ink blotches on them and smears and stuff, you know, pretty cool stuff like that. Um, I'll believe it then, because I opened it, and it's on camera. Like, this one time, I opened up, um, I think it was a Planeswalker deck, no, what was it? It was some kind of deck, I don't know what it was, but um, inside, and there was a bunch of different rares and all that stuff, inside of it, Primal Might, more like, no. Um, inside, though, was uh, every rare or mythic 
was lacking the foil stamp. I still have this. I still have them all. I didn't even notice it in the video until someone pointed it out. So right here, that stamp was not present whatsoever. That is an easy <laughs> misprint to fake. I mean, I'm sure you can see little markings around it, but you could scrape that off and just say, hey, yeah, it was never there. I don't trust that either for a darn. Those kind of misprints are really sketch. But the fact that I have evidence, I have video proof of this, um, that every mythic, you know, and uh, rare did not have a stamp. That's something. That, I believe. Nice little sanctum right there. Uh, Temple of Mystery and uh, some other stuff out the door. But yeah, that's just me, man, you know? But it's the world we live in. And everyone's trying to scam everyone and pull tricks. I'm not saying the misprint market's a bad thing. I think the misprint market's pretty cool. But uh, I think even the most experienced misprint person out there, you know, who basically believes they got like a degree in misprint, uh, they can be tricked, I, I, you know, as well. <laughs> you know, it doesn't take much. And it, again, the crimp stuff, heck no, man. I would never buy a crimp card for that for that simple reason. I'm even thinking about purchasing a press just to show how to fake a crimp card. And then before I even do that, I'm gonna have someone else like ask like or send it to you know a person who's big into these crimp cards and make them authenticate it, say it's a real one. And then at that point, then I'm going to approach the situation and be like, well, hey buddy, guess what? This is Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. This is a fake crimp card. We used a press. Here's how it was done and make a whole video on it. What do you guys think of that? <laughs> I'm thinking about doing it. And uh, I'm telling you, I guarantee I'll be able to fool these people. It, it's not that difficult. You just got to get the exact measurements of the crimp, the press that they're using uh, when it punches on the packs. And then just get uh, get a mold, you know, fabricate, uh, you know, the mold or whatever. Whatever you got to do, I don't know, fabricate, but create the mold. And uh, there you go. Have at it, man. Bada bing. And then just start printing them left and right. And just show, like, this is how it's done. It's it's not a good investment. It's not a good purchase. I, I, w I would not believe in it unless it was caught on video uh, opening it. A witness? I don't care about a witness. I want a witness of a video camera. <laughs> That's it. If I'm a sealed box, I would not trust anything else. Those are my opinions, and I'm sticking to it in the misprint community. That's all I got to say. It's too easy just to fake that stuff. Um, but some misprints are much more difficult to fake. And then also wizards, I guess you can uh, contact them and they'll let you know if like, okay, well, yeah, we did have this error. But then also if they're a misprint, how do they even make it into the bundle to begin with? You know, if their quality control was so freaking great, it should have never have left the warehouse. You see what I'm saying? We're going on rants here, baby, but we're having fun. We are going on rants. Ooh, Baneslayer Angel. Would have been a lot more fun, like, you know, five years ago, ten years ago, when it wasn't worth something. But anyway. All right. Poor old Baneslayer. Didn't even need to be in this set. But it's a cool card, nonetheless. All right. Uh, Thorman, not a bad opening. I would have liked to have seen an Ugin out of two boxes, though. Uh, Fatal Blow. Ooh, no Ugin. Okay. It would have been really cool to see, like, one Ugin out of all this. Man, opening uh, just a regular collector box. I see why some people don't do it no more. <laughs> or a regular uh, booster box. And they go to the collector boxes because it's just so so much work. It's crazy. Look at all these packs everywhere. Still got to make a deck around this card. The Abyss. Not bad. Well, what do you guys think of my thoughts um, on all the misprint stuff? Let me know about anything else that floats your boat. Last pack to crack. Got the Tefiri. Can we get an Oogs? Ah, uh, no. Got the Eliminate and Batteries at Lieutenant. All right. Well, that's the whole kit and caboodle. Thorman, thank you so much. There's a lot of cards here, man. I'm going to get them out to you uh, ASAP this week. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And, uh, yeah, what are your thoughts? Skidink, skidink. We're going to check out these other videos after these shout-outs. Get the ball. Uh.